Why does it get colder as we go higher? If you're on a flight and you're not watching the film, and you're not trying to sleep in a seat that reclines by four degrees, and you're not trying to eat a meal without moving your elbows, then you might find yourself looking at that rather annoying Your Journey display. It might tell you something like you're 850 kilometres from your destination where it's 0420 in the morning, you're flying at 35,000 feet and the outside air temperature is minus 55 degrees Celsius. But why is it so cold? I mean, never mind that you're 35,000 feet closer to the sun. Isn't hot air supposed to rise? The answer lies in what meteorologists call the lapse rate. Let's start with the basics. As you go higher, the air pressure falls because there's less of the atmosphere pressing down on top of it. Now, we've already covered this in far more detail than I'm going to here in our question, where does the atmosphere end? So click onto that and have a look. And while you're at it, subscribe. This reduction in pressure means that the same amount of gas is spread out further and its molecules are further apart. And that means, according to the basic laws of thermodynamics, which we can't change, that the temperature must go down. But the atmosphere is heated from below as well as by the sun from above. In fact, it receives more energy from heat that is passed up from the Earth below it than it does from the sun passing through it from above. And if you stand on a strip of black tarmac on a very sunny day, you will feel through your shoes just how much heat is being sent to the atmosphere from the Earth. When the ground starts to heat up, it gives off infrared radiation, which the atmosphere can absorb. So it is warmer closer to the ground. And yes, the hot air does rise. But let's not forget, as we said earlier, as it rises, it expands. So it must cool down. And how quickly it cools with the increase in altitude is the lapse rate. The exact lapse rate will depend on whether the air is dry or humid. But as a rough guide, from sea level to 35,000 feet, roughly 11,000 meters, the air temperature will drop by one degree Celsius for every 150 meters increase in altitude. If you are a pilot, you think of that simply as two degrees per thousand feet. But if you kept on going up, you'd eventually find that that temperature, after falling to a very chilly minus 85 degrees Celsius as you pass through the mesosphere, would actually start to go up again or at least it would if you were foolish enough to leave the protection of the Earth's atmosphere. Having no protection from the radiation given off by the sun means that any part of you that was facing it would suffer temperatures of up to 115 degrees Celsius, while any part of you turned away from it and in the shade would be at minus 180 degrees Celsius. But in space, of course, no one can hear you say, it's a bit chilly up here.